back to the YouTube channel of Pro Enzo Vids, and this is my thoughts on the big signing that came out of nowhere. And you know, literally the other week I thought he re-signed the Broncos. I thought that was all locked in for him to stay there, but I guess not. And uh, Herbie Farnworth, the Broncos centre, has signed a mega three-year deal with um, the Dolphins uh, starting next year in 2024. So. That there is a big coup for them because I think they need a bit more quality, um, the Dolphins. And while he's not really a, the biggest marquee signing, I do think that he done, he comes close to being one of those important type signings for them. So, uh, and he will be playing fullback apparently too. So I think he's going there on fullback money and probably to play fullback as well. So uh, let's see if um, he, he's worth that much and being a fullback too. Which I think his ability to play there, as he has said before, he likes playing there as his position, he reckons. But uh, at the Dolphins next year, we'll have to wait and see. So it's a big signing either way. Um, but before I do get to my further thoughts on the signing, just want to say that um, I'm getting even closer to 3K subscribers. Like, I'm not far now. I'm literally halfway there. So on 2,943 subscribers, I think. So nearing, nearing that 2,950 mark. So that means I'm nearly halfway to 3K. And look, I like to think I get to 3K by at least before round one, but it's a bit bit hard that one. But I hope I can get there by, by the end of the month at least. But look, either way, I just hope that um if you're you if you are you watching the YouTube channel right now, I um, hope you're enjoying the content. And if you are, please be sure to like the video, but as well as subscribe as that contributes a lot to my road to 3K and um, does show your support for the channel as well. So please. Um, if you are enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe. But without further ado, time against my thoughts on Herbie Farnworth going to the Dolphins. So, Herbie Farnworth, obviously a great young player, um, a player that has a massive potential, and I believe he will be one of the biggest future, well, one of the most, um, you know, talked up players in the, in the future, and I think his future is pretty bright in, in the NRL in general. But I think... When it comes down to playing fullback and stuff, I'm not too sure that's his real position going forward. But um, he he expressed the interest, like I said, that he does have an interest in playing uh, that that fullback role. So whether that is, that is his position going forward or not, time will tell. But personally, I'm a bit iffy on that one. But I do think that if he is good enough to be there, then why not? But it's a big blow to the Broncos, I, I must say, losing him because the Broncos obviously have one of the most underrated, but probably best sort of um, centre pairing if they're both on. Like, Stag's inconsistent at Naz, but if he's on, he's a class player. There's no doubt about that. Top 10 centre for sure. And then uh, Herbie Farnworth obviously is getting better and better each year. And him and Stag's are just a dynamic sort of um, centre pairing, but it's a shame that one of them is going to leave though. So, um, so yeah, it'd be last, last year seeing um, Herbie Farnworth repping that you know, white, gold, and maroon, and so he takes on the, the red, gold, and white. So, yeah, he's going to the rivals, technically. So, obviously, that's going to piss the Broncos off as, go, as he's going to the rivals, but, you know, he's there for an opportunity, I guess, to play the position he wants to play. So, I'd, I'd say take it, and um, you can't fight him for that, but I do understand why Broncos fans would be pretty upset with this one because it's the Dolphins, and it's because... He has been in the junior systems for a long time because I think the Broncos were the ones that gave gave Farnworth an opportunity from England to come to the club and play for the juniors there. And ever since he's made his debut in 2019, I think it was, and yeah, he's come come up as a really good young star. And ever since, so so you know, obviously it's a it's a big loss, and I think Broncos will find someone to replace him, but it'd be hard to replace his quality because that's uh that's a challenge to replace a player with that much quality in him. So. We'll see what they do, but at least they got him for this year just to, um, you know, to get the last better bits out of him, hopefully. If he puts his puts his 100% effort in, but, um, yeah, look, it's, either way, it's a big loss, and I think it's a huge win for the Dolphins. I think Wayne Bennett might have some more big signings up his, up his sleeve that not many people are expecting, because this signing here, what, what did, I mean, whatever the Dolphins did to keep, keep it away from the media, they, they did really well keeping it quiet, because... There were no reports and no leaks about it, and nothing featured about it. So, you know, the Dolphins have done really well to keep this under under their hats. But yeah, uh, there you go. It's official now. It's a big signing. So, well done to the Dolphins getting a very good young player who will get even better. But huge loss for Brisbane. But 
Anyways, everyone, that is my quick thoughts on the signing of Herbie Farmworth going to the Dolphins on a three-year deal. Um, please let me know your thoughts on the signing in the comment section down below. And, um, you know, it's a big, big signing for sure and a big loss for Brisbane. So uh, more content will be coming soon as the NRL season approaches next week. So be stay tuned and be sure to check it all out when it does happen. But um, until then, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new watching right now. And, um, you know, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.